some 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 music genres don't afford that the aging of it. Yeah, to appreciate the So you can be Lil growth. Yachty Young, or you can be Jay Z, a pioneer, Snoop, a pioneer, right. and still dawn the stage and, and rep the old and new songs. That's so amazing now. That's the amazing thing about hip hop that people didn't know was gonna happen that I, that I think is happening. Especially, really? Drake will always be around. You're gonna see Drake with gray hair on the microphone right. and it's gonna make sense because hip hop is, you talk, you're speaking. Mm -hmm. like, it's unlike singing where you're holding notes. You are carrying notes but you're talking. So yeah. I'm stoned. I'm talking so much, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the mic, this dude right here. I'm we have another to, customer I'm on. Even supposed to be Get stoned with Snoop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm all right. <laughs> What was your, right what was your um, first major role? Above the Rim. My first major role was with Above Tupac the Rim. With and Tupac Tupac. That's the first thing I did. <clears throat> you was the first thing hey, I did. When I watched that movie, nigga, you wasn't acting, nigga. You was taking off yeah. and balling and oh, yeah. taking I flight. I like basketball. You a Chicago nigga that I'm really could ball. Chicago nigga that could ball, yeah. I seen that. When I watched, I watched that movie for different reasons. Like, I watched it because, you know, we was part of the soundtrack. So I watched the shit. I'm looking to see who can ball. Like Dwayne Martin, yeah, you got Dwayne handles. Dwayne can ball. Uh, come on, nigga. Dwayne can ball. Uh, you got yeah. handles. I'm watching you just whop, yeah. whop, yeah. whop. I'm like, oh, yeah. this nigga ain't fucking around. Yeah, that was part of the, when I auditioned for that, that's the first thing I auditioned for, ever. And I, my brother called me like, yo, man, they got this movie, got basketball in it. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm going to go get that. He said, but you ain't got no, so I had to go get a picture. I went and got a picture made and shit. It's like a glossy picture, you know what I'm saying? It has a glossy <laughs> picture, like it's totally wrong. And I ain't had no resume, I bullshitted the resume. Because at that time I had, my objective was like just to learn more. So I was, I was at New York University, I had been accepted to the university, I got into Yale, I got in all these prestigious schools auditioning. So I had a lot of confidence, I felt like shit, I'm gonna make it. And after the first audition, they called me that night, and uh, the casting people was like, we want you to do this movie. He was on the phone with me like it was a secret or something. We want you to do this movie. And then the second callback was basketball. So it was a rap after like, that. Like, can you play basketball? The, yeah, because in the basketball you part. You like, nigga? Off the glass. glass. Not really. Let what? Me, let me see. I, I didn't even know what it was going to be, so I'm all thinking, like, what the fuck am I going to have to do? I'm ready for Shakespeare now. I don't care, because I, <laughs> I still nigga felt like the greatest actor. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know what was going to happen. Because I felt like, well, who's going to be a better actor and basketball player than me? Nobody. Nobody. So, you know, ultimate confidence. I'm going in, they seeing that, because that's what I felt. And then in the basketball, what number scrubs in the gym, actors who can play weak. ball? Yeah. Plus, it was a couple of ball players, and they was like, just all right. And I literally murked them in there. The a director, rest in peace, he ran up to me. He was like, you got the role. In the second audition, he told me I got the role. So I'm in New York, now I'm from Chicago. I'm fresh in New York too. You know yeah, what I'm Chicago saying? Chicago niggas talk plenty shit in New York. In a movie, six months talk fresh shit in New when York. Get some. I, I, I'm <laughs> gang banging in New York. I feel like a gang bang in New York. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm from Chicago, and the freedom you have in New York, you don't have in Chicago. Right. The way you they don't know you like you that. Wanna... You can do what you want. Yeah. So now I'm like I'm loose in Chicago, feeling crazy. I meet Mos Def back then, before Mos Def. I met Dante Bizet. Yeah. I knew Common already. I felt like a hip hop person. I've always been in, involved in hip hop so much. Those cats are like friends of mine back from back then. So anyway, I tell my mom, I get on the motherfucking uh, payphone back when payphones yeah, existed. Nigga said, <laughs> I collect Carmo G. I got a roll. I got a roll. It's nighttime and everything. I got a roll in this movie. The next night, I live up the block from where Tupac got shot to. I lived up on 48th and um, 8th and 9th, between 8th and 9th. Right up, right up. He was like two blocks away when he got shot. Right? I walked to this bodega around the corner. I run into Marlon. Mm. Now, how's the synergy? You see how this shit is in life? Life, like, you can't predict some of this. This is a movie, I'm mm -hmm. telling you. So mm -hmm. I run into Marlon. He told me to name my character. You Motar, I'm, I'm in the movie with you. And I'm like, oh, okay, Marlon Wayne, bing, 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 bing. How you know? He said, because I was down at the production office and I seen your picture on the board. So they had the glossy that you the cheap glossy, yeah, the glossy nigga. on the board, nigga. Nigga. You feel me? And I was only Fuck six months. Fuck talking about, nigga. So now I'm like Superman in it. I felt like niggas well, know me now. I'm doing, I felt like a seasoned actor already, too. So now when they say action, I wasn't looking for what to do. I had um, knowledge, like at that time, because I had been studying already. 
because I already had that objective. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't nothing else to do but study it, because it ain't like you can go and make a song yeah. out of them. You couldn't just go make a movie nah. back then, because then that was when cameras was, nobody could just go video movies like that. So anyway, go on, we make the movie. I knew Tupac, and I, um, he introduced me to John Singleton on the set of Above the Rim. Mm. I met John Singleton, I don't even know if he remembers that, probably not. And I don't know, the young John Singleton, man, he was, you know, he, he was powerfully arrogant, you know what I mean? Right, he had the boys in the he hood. He had to have that same thing going on. Boys in yeah. the hood was, was yeah. that fame. Yeah. He had that other one with uh, Cube and, uh, and, and Tyra Banks. Oh, the, yeah, that was the bomb. Higher, higher learning. learning was the Come bomb. Come on, man. Michael Rappaport was dope in that. Boy, wasn't he? I loved yeah, him. He was a motherfucker. I loved him That's in that. That's my man That's in that. That's my nickel. Fuck with Mike Rapp, man. Yeah, me too. Shout out to Michael Shout Rappaport Mike with the Rapp. big three. He doing Ice Cube shit he right now, man. He is doing Ice Cube shit. I and talking shit about everybody on Instagram every morning. Church, say amen. Amen. What's up, Church? What's happening with you, Bishop? I, I'm, on, I'm on the air right now, Church. I'm doing a GGN. When I finish, I got to stop by and do something for TLC. So I come by and give me a plate of that meatloaf. Tell uh, Queen to put me some cornbread with it, too. He said put some cornbread with it, too. Ch All right, Church, I'm on point. Hold on, man. I'm sitting here with Wood Harris, man, one of your one of your partners, man, from Chicago, man. He grew up looking at you, man. He's one of the biggest stars in Hollywood now. Say something to him. What, what it do, Chateau? What's happening, man? How you doing? You in I shared an ancient story with Snoop of how I, how, how, how I grew up, like, on the west side and all that, including you in the story, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, Madison Street belonged to us both. Man, Madison Street, that's where I seen it pop off at when I was talking about red carpets and everything. <laughs> hey, I, I told him about when Tyrone Davis told you that Rolls Royce, that first Rolls Royce, Church. Sure did, and if he ain't too young, he seen me ride. I did see you ride. I was talking about that earlier. It's crazy. The circle crazy. <laughs> it's connecting, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Church, you know I love you more today than I did yesterday, right? And you know that's the truth. Hey, much love, Church. Y'all pop it off at GGN. Oh, yeah. definitely, man. Live Good action. to talk to you. Church, that's what's up. Ain't it, man? <laughs> that's my spiritual advisor. He, wow. Checks in from time to time. That's amazing that he called. That's good timing. That's the spirit, right? That's the spirit. Yeah, it looked like I would have texted him and told him to call. He just called on the stream. He got what? that meatloaf. His girl be cooking. So maybe you want me to come over there and get a plate of food. You know, he got that meatloaf. <laughs> Y'all think I'm bullshit. I'm going to put the picture up on Instagram later when I go over there and get my plate. I'm going to sit right in the living room and eat this shit on the couch. Nigga like a nigga going to visit his uncle. For real, because he got too much shit on the table. We got all kind of pimp awards and <laughs> magazines and posters. We <laughs> got a fax machine on the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> That's my nigga. What the fuck is he faxing? Yeah, but it, it's a table full of awards, too. It's like you can't eat on the table. It's all kind of awards and he shit. A, he got a picture on, the, on his desk of him at a Laker game and meeting Kobe Bryant, and Kobe's excited to meet him. Yeah. <laughs> Super legendary, man. Super legendary. Super For real. Legendary. He like this in the picture. Yeah. And Kobe like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's the truth. But you know what I really, really, really fucking loved you in? The Wire. That show right there was TV history. The writing, the shooting, the, the uh, episodics, the way they, where they went from this season to this season to this mm -hmm, season. Mm -hmm. Your character, a uh, fucking stringer bell, like that shit right there was hard as fuck. Yeah, the wire. Avon motherfucking boss. Avon, man. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I, um, the wire came about like, I think I had done like, remember the Titans. And then, Which was an exceptional movie with Denzel Washington. Yeah, with Denzel. Yeah, look at that nigga say, yeah, with Denzel. Like, you know, <laughs> I act with all kinds of shit. Shout out Denzel. Denzel. Yeah, Denzel. Yeah, just with Denzel, that's all. Well, uh, you know, we did that, and then the Wire thing came about as an audition. Um, and I went in, and I think I was the first person they cast, and then Idris was the second person. And then they cast around me and Idris. Man, nobody even knew that nigga talk like that from London, you know, yeah. the way he really talks in yeah. real life. I was shocked, too. Man, I, when I did a video with the nigga with Angie Stone, right? I was happy to meet the nigga. I'm like, nigga, I'm doing a video with Stringer Bell, nigga. I'm like, what's up, nigga? Hey, Snip, how are you, man? It's my pleasure to meet you. I'm like, nigga, who is this nigga? Yeah, he... Where's the other nigga? The nigga from the Y. Go get him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's... 
It was an exceptional actor. Mm -hmm. That nigga the shit. He really is an exceptional talent. It's a few just raw super talents. Idris is one of them. Bad you know, boy. I think that uh, that as an actor, your ability to just be diverse in the roles, you know, that's really how you measure it. And, and I don't think it's really a role that, that he can't really do. Yeah, he get in. He get all the way down. A lot of them British cats, you notice it's, it's the, it's all, a lot of these actors you see, it's almost like rarer that you see black American and even white, in a lot of sense, actors not from there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of British actors right about now. And you can't right. tell till them niggas win their award and they start talking their real, real language and shit. Yeah, you can't, you don't even I know, like thank my the man queen. from Get Out. Yes, I want to thank the queen of London for everything she's done for me. Yeah, exactly. Nigga, right. you know the queen. <laughs> That's crazy, Thought you was man. from Baltimore, nigga, you didn't fool me. <laughs> exactly. You is a good actor. <laughs> exactly, and great actor. <laughs> and great then actor. the other movie, nigga, come on, nigga, you, I'm, you know, I'm, I fuck with you, my nigga, anyway. But you got some motherfucking roles that's, some roles that's timeless. That fucking paid in full. That right there, I sold crack, nigga. I'm from that era, <laughs> nigga. I'm just <laughs> telling you what's happening. <laughs> that shit right there, it touched the, it touched the cell in me, man. Cause homies is, was like that. Yeah. You know they was tight, but they was scandalous when it came to that money and that shit. Right, right, right. But right. before that, we was like this. But when that got involved, your rise. Mm -hmm. Your rise made jealousy. Mm -hmm. But how the fuck, my rise is our rise. Right. When right. you had the joystick, I wasn't mad at you. Right. right. Now right. I got right. it, you feel like you're supposed to be a part of and it. And you know I'm cool too, and you still don't give a fuck. And that's how I am in the rap game. Now, your character in that movie is the way I am in the rap game. Wow. I feel like that. Like I took my seat as being in the back seat. Then when I was given the driver's stick, I gave opportunity to those who I felt deserved it. And motherfuckers crossed me. Did me wrong the whole nine. Whatever you went through, I went through. You, the thing about you, Snoop, is you matter so much in the culture of things, American culture too. It's not even just sort of black anymore. It's, you just matter a lot because of what I was saying earlier about your individuality. The individual that you are, it just matters that it's seen understood and successful. It just matters so that, because it inspires, and at this point, you are, you give a lot. Every time I see something, it's another damn, you like, gift, you, you gift people in ways. And, uh, yeah, you just, so, in a sense, you, you matter a lot. Like, you matter in, in, in more than these ways that we even see right now. It mm -hmm. just matters in, in the culture of American culture. It matters to see this person. Because it was a snoop. There was a dog, there was a cartoon that was huge. Mm -hmm. There was no way a rapper was gonna come out with that name and be bigger than Snoopy. Can you, can you dig it though? That's, that's, that's my little white brother That's though. how old you I know, am. I, I'm on that's this That's my white that brother shit. though, Snoopy. We, we was adopted, so <laughs> he went on to do that. But that's amazing though. <laughs> really right. think about it. That shit, it's been dwarfed by it. Like, right. you know, you, he you was to, the big shit back yeah, in the day. It was another Snoop. You know Him and Charlie Brown. Yeah, that's all over. Man, but that's yeah, cool. like you, you know. Anyway, yeah, man, not to go on about that. <laughs> not to go on. Hi, my name is Stormy Friends. I'm giving you the weather. City to city, titty to titty. And today we're gonna look at Fort Dick, California. Fort Dick. Dick. That sounds like it hurts. Forks and dicks. No, fork, fork. Oh. <laughs> Fort Dick, California. show on VH1, a hip-hop show. Mm, the Breaks. Yes, sir. And what's the character you play? Well, my character is Barry Foray. He owns uh, a record label. Fresh, what is it? Yeah, Barry Foray. Okay. Foray. Foray. Foray, yeah. His name is Foray. It's like a Haitian. He's a Haitian brother out of New York on a record label. And it's set in the 90s. I love it because DJ Premier is a producer on it. So I ain't know Primo before this, so I got to know Primo. And My man. It's kind of cool. The set is really cool. It's trying to be real authentic 90s right. 
hip hop. And you and grew up in that era, so you know. I grew up in that era. I'm the only one who, on the set who grew up actually in the era. So, so you I'm know like how the, to make it the, authenticated. The Godfather for the all now. Mm -hmm. They don't no, know. They didn't wear their shit like that. Let me tell you no. what's funny. What people don't get, even a director won't get. So I'd be on the set, and I won't even be trying to micromanage because I don't really like to do that. But we, in some ways that we didn't do movement wise, mm -hmm. that Back they do then. now, right? That they do now that we didn't do then. I mean, we might do this. This is a move that you don't even see people do this to a beat no more. Because that's how we used to do it back yeah. then. You hit a beat and you had this thing yeah. going like this. So they ain't doing that. They're hearing the beat and they just, they're just like this. They're not catching the beat in their body. Yeah. And then when they do, they're doing something we don't do. It's a whole nother movement. Right. I was like, I told the director, listen, they're not moving like the 90s. Because that's a different beat. There's a different thing going on. We was 90s. on a different drum. Then I told the set. Then I told the people in the room. And I showed them. It's a different thing. I got on the, I got the body, literally yeah. stood on the seat. Yeah, because you was into the, the whole everything. This is, the, this is it. If y'all can do this, when y'all hear that beat, you're just doing this. You're not really doing all this other shit y'all doing and whatever all y'all doing. <laughs> it wasn't that because we was all trying we to be too animated. cool for that. Yeah, yeah. we was never animated. So, yeah. Hip-hop came from some cool shit. It, and that wasn't cool. That's not cool. It's not pop locking. Not it dancing. was more hard back then. It was more hard. So 1992, we're talking 19, the early 90s. 1990 exact, last year on the show. 1990 exact. So it's really the smoke from the 80s. Yeah, that's when it got real over. hard. Yeah, that's when it really started to pop. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we had um, Prince Paul was on the show, Dope. which was great. I had never met Prince Paul. And I just like meeting the legends. I met um, Special Ed That's my OG. Yeah, Special Ed was on the show. I mean, we, I don't... Your highest title. It was so Four surreal. We did a shoot where we had an actor being special ed and had special ed on the set. Dope. And the actor being special ed was just like special ed. So I'm standing next to special ed, and he watching me and him doing a great job. And I'm like, he's doing a great job, right? He's like, yeah, man. He's doing a great job. You imagine that's going to be a snoop. It's going to be a snoop. Can you imagine? You on the set and, and my man killing it? That's gonna be hard. That's killing dope. it? Like yeah. he mirroring you? This guy was that good. And so I'm proud of the breaks, man. I'm, I'm very fortunate actor, I would say. Artist right. in general, but mm -hmm. definitely very fortunate actor. I've been able to do. And the breaks, is on, the, the breaks is on a great network, too. Like, yeah. Like that's yeah. a music minded network who really get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So y'all yeah. reaching the masses with that right there. Yeah, definitely. definitely That's high shit right there. Definitely. definitely. We're inside the Smoker Studio, Everyday People, AKA Real Nigga Shit. I'm gonna ask you some questions you can answer to the best of your ability. Okay. <clears throat> What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up? I check um, checking on my, my kids. Is everybody all right? Everybody um, getting their day started. Hot or cold? Cold. Tacos or burgers? Tough one, man. That's tough. Um, man, I'm gonna say burgers because you can get a good burger maybe everywhere, but cats be messing tacos up someplace. Right. What's your favorite pair of shoes of all time? Man, I'm gonna tell you what's funny about me. I have all the gym shoes. I wear all the <laughs> different Jordans, but I like to kick off. I wear slippers and. Yeah. And, and comfortable. <laughs> yeah, flip what you got flop. on right I got now? Nike <laughs> flip flops is kind of my slippers. favorites. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of like that about shoes. I mean, that's all tall niggas. We the same yeah, way. I, like I wear my way. slippers all the way till it's time to hit the red yeah, carpet. Yeah, I have my slippers on in the car. <laughs> I have no shoes on in the car. You know what I'm saying? Slippers it is. What is your favorite cereal of all time? Captain Crunch. Simple, Crunch Berry or regular Captain Crunch? <laughs> that nigga went into depth. Yeah, because it's like make a real wrong debate. Decision. You know, it's like, he didn't want to make a wrong decision. He didn't want to make a wrong decision. my soul to answer this. Um, I'm going to say Crunch Berry because it tastes better, but I think I ate more often than that. I ate Captain Crunch regular. Yeah, so as a kid. That's, that's why I'm saying I think I like the berry one more, but still I ate the other one more. Right. So how do you answer that? That's You just tell them it like it is. Did you like it yours? I like Crunch Berry. Yeah, I feel but like I grew up on Crunch and then when the berry came out, you know, we had a few more dollars in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so you know a nigga can walk down the aisle and pick his own cereal. No, nah, hell no. Nah. They fuck with that. I fuck with Cookie Crisp, though. 
Uh, you ain't fuck with cookie crisp? It turned to milk. Bowl of cookies, though? God damn. Yeah, Something was just negative about that, <laughs> man. I'll start my day with a bowl of thousand cookies. <laughs> God damn. It's bad enough. want that sugar, man. Little cookies and shit. I want that sugar, now man. Now they sell them in mini packs. You can go buy right. and just the, dump them in a the bowl. Fuck it. it. <laughs> just 300 of them today. <laughs> What's the worst job you've ever had? Oh, I worked at UPS. Delivery? No, nah, I was fucking unloading trucks. Oh, man. Nothing worse than unloading the damn UPS truck. They got you on the clock. You in there like Lucy on the turnpike thing. You're like, hoo, 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 hoo. I'm like, nah, man, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't fucking with this. You, you think you're going to get some bread. You don't, really get, you don't really get no bread. They tell you, I'm 18 or some shit. They telling you you're going to get, oh, you're making $9 an hour. I'm thinking, damn, I don't think, my, I don't think nobody in my family making that. So <laughs> I'm going to look good. But you can only put in four hours. They get that turnover rate to go crazy, right? right. So you do four hours. They can make $36 in a day. You make it $36. Then after the guillotine hit it. Right. Sam. You got $250 or something. You ain't really got no bread, but you're still trying to front like you're getting money. Hey, I'm working at UPS. You yeah, know nigga, I'm saying? gonna go cash this check. All time worst job. The kid yeah, you, got, you got a barking <laughs> person in your ear. Come on, move it. Come on, Harris, let's go. You taking so long to move these boxes? Ah! I was out of there, bruh. If you could remake any movie and star in it, what would it be? Man, I would like to remake. The Sting, but there's a lot of movies I like to remake. Was that with Robert the Sting was, Yeah, and Paul Newman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, The Sting. That was hard. Yeah, it was. The, which which character would you play? I think I played a. I think I played a Paul Newman character, but I'm not sure. I uh, played either one. Would that be you? Do, yeah, I do the other. You know they fake they fake like a heist and a and a and a, and a killing, mm -hmm. and they rob a casino. And, uh, I like it. To, yeah, I, I do to, the to get revenge. Whichever one you don't want, I got that. That's super fresh. I got that. That works. That'll For work. real, though. That'll be dope. We'll put a black spin on it. That'll be dope. That'll be dope, 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 dope. Who directed the motherfucker? He may be still alive. What's happening? Mm, I forget who directed it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the part of the show called Finish the Sentence. I'm going to start it. You finish it. OK. I always wake up feeling pretty good. If I could work with anybody dead or alive, I'd want to work with. Um, man. I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm gonna be fast on this. this is rapid rounds going on right here? <laughs> man, I'm thinking, uh, dead or alive? Yes. I would, I would like to work with Paul Newman. Yeah, I like Paul Newman, Marlon Brando. Yeah, Sidney Poitier. Mm. Yeah. I got the chance to work with Larry Frenchburg last year. I worked with Denzel. Those were dreams, too. Top dogs those right there. Cats. Yeah, them top dogs. Don't get no bigger than that. I look for blank in a woman. I guess, I guess camaraderie. You could say camaraderie. Right. To be That's able to one. compliment you. Good conversation. Yeah, compliment your work. Everything else follows a good conversation. In a real way. Yeah. If I wasn't a boss, I'd be a... Uh... If I wasn't a boss, I think I'd be a teacher or something like that. Yeah. My favorite position is? Point guard. My name is Wood Harris, and I'm a? My name is Wood Harris, and I'm a Libra like Snoop, and Eminem, and Jeezy, yeah. and Wayne, yeah. and Scottie Pippen, yeah. and Jerry Rice. Say that. Uh, legend. What are legends that? Legend. Yeah. I want to thank my guest, the one and only Wood Harris, for stopping by the GGN News Network. I'm your host with the most fine, Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes. It's all good with Wood. We out of here. See you. Peace.